discovered by an archaeological team led by U.S. scientist Donald C. Johansen in 1974, the fossil was confirmed to have represented 40% of a skeleton of an individual, Australopithecus afarensis have, that has lived 3.2 million years ago. The well-known name of Lucy came from a Beatles song, Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds, as a song was then played to celebrate the fossil's discovery. Well, I think Lucy's message to humanity is really that we all have a common origin. We have a common beginning, a common ancestry. We're united by our past. The fossil began its tour exhibition in 11 cities of the United States starting from July 2007, a move that aroused much disputes and worries as the transportation of the precious and fragile items could lead to unrecoverable damage. At a press conference on Wednesday, the pieces of bones were kept in two closed black boxes and once again stirred curiosity on its protection. Clarifying the doubts, Ethiopian scientist Zereseni Alemseged, who has been in company with Lucy during his five-year trip abroad, said that Lucy has been kept very well. I'm very well aware that uh, they sent uh, uh, security from Ethiopia, but that has been supported by local security from the United States. But also, she was always surrounded by professionals, so I'm pretty confident that she was secured both from the protection point of view and also from the security point of view. Meanwhile, another Ethiopian scientist said that the tour exhibition of Lucy has publicized the country's name and promoted at the development of Ethiopia. When we send Lucy out for a long <laughs> visit, we felt a sense of emptiness here. So it was a big sacrifice that we paid. And thank you very much for everything that you have done. And we appreciate Donald Johansson again for finding her, promoting her. With the promotion of Lucy, he promoted Ethiopia. For concerns of protection, Lucy wasn't immediately shown to the media and public upon its arrival home on Wednesday. Starting from next Tuesday, the famous fossil will greet audience along with another 148 historical relics at the Ethiopian National Museum and will be present at the 50th anniversary of the African Union. African heads of state would come here for the golden jubilee of the African Union. We we'll like to take the advantage to show that we are the origin of mankind that needs further study and research.